Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna go over American Express cards. Now American Express cards are some of the best in the game. And if you happen to be new to credit cards, you probably have seen American Express cards out there and just wanted to get some of them due to the allure and prestige behind them. Now while the cards can be great, there are things you should know about American Express cards before running to apply for one. And one of the things to know about American Express cards is going to be that there are all different types of American Express cards. You have charge cards, that's gonna be the famous platinum, gold, and green card. You have cashback earning credit cards. You have hotel point earning credit cards. You have airline mile earning credit cards. You have business cards. American Express has a massive amount of cards that you can choose from. But most popular ones in their program tend to be their charge cards, which is gonna be the platinum, the gold, and the green card. Now, these cards are going to be earning membership reward points. Now, membership reward points end up being way more versatile, and that's the reason why they're so popular. Now, as you can probably guess, a hotel credit card is going to get you hotel points, an airline credit card is going to get you airline miles, cashback is going to give you cashback. But membership reward points have the ability to do all these things. If you end up actually wanting to get yourself a high amount of points on dining and groceries, you get yourself the American Express Gold Card, which is going to give you 4x back on dining and groceries. Or if you happen to purchase a lot of flights, you'd want to get something like the American Express Platinum card that's going to give you 5x back on flights. The American Express cards can definitely give you a lot of earnings with them. Okay, so now that you can see how you can end up racking up all these points with American Express, how do you end up redeeming them? Well, for certain cards, it's pretty self-explanatory, such as if you get yourself a airline credit card, just one of the Delta cards, you can redeem them for Delta flights, or if you happen to get yourself one of the hotel credit cards, you can redeem it with that hotel program. And cash back is going to give you cash back. But if you end up getting yourself one of the membership reward points, as I said earlier, these are very versatile. So what you can do is you can redeem them in a few different ways. One of them can end up being a statement credit, which I do not recommend because you end up losing out on value from doing that. You only end up getting yourself 0.6 cents when redeeming it for statement credit. And if you end up looking at the typical base level for points, it should end up being one cent equals one point is the minimum you should ever want to get. So that's the reason why you should never redeem it for a statement credit. Now you can also redeem your membership reward points through PayPal and through Amex and for gift cards, but typically you're not going to want to redeem your membership reward points in any of these programs as well, because you're going to end up getting yourself less than one cent per point. So we're going to be aiming for above one cent per point. If you're going to end up getting that, you're at least beating the base level value for your points. So two ways that I would recommend redeeming your membership reward points will end up being either getting yourself the American Express Charles Schwab card, which can allow you to redeem your points for 1.1 cent per point. So if you happen to get yourself 100,000 membership reward points for the sign up bonus with the American Express Platinum card, using the American Express Charles Schwab card will allow you to redeem those 100,000 membership reward points for $1,100, which is reasonable value as compared to if you end up doing for statement credit, which end up giving you only $600 in value. But the best way to actually redeem your membership reward points would end up being to transfer over to transfer partners. If you've ever seen on YouTube where some people out there flying on Emirates First Class or on Singapore Airlines suites, and you're wondering how are they doing this, usually how they end up doing it is because they end up transferring over their membership reward points that they get over to these different programs and then redeem them with that program. American Express has a number of airline and hotel partners that if you end up transferring over your points over there, they can end up being way more valuable than just having them as cash back. Now, usually with these airline programs, you'd have to fly a lot to actually rack up the amount of miles you end up taking to get yourself a business or a first class flight. But you can end up racking up so many membership reward points through sign up bonuses and also through the multipliers that are connected with these charge cards and then transfer over those points over to these programs and then be able to fly in luxury all around the world for incredibly cheap. Now, an easy way to add into your earnings would end up being to use Rakuten. Rakuten, for those of you who are not aware of it, is a shopping portal that allows you to get additional cash back or membership reward points if you decide to set up your program that way every single time you end up shopping using Rakuten. So if you happen to be interested in purchasing something from say Nike, Adidas, or Under Armour, just go through Rakuten and this will allow you to get additional cash back or membership reward points from actually using their website. Each quarter, I rack up tens of thousands of membership reward points just from using Rakuten. I think Rakuten is an awesome website and a no-brainer if you happen to shop at any one of the websites that is affiliated with Rakuten. Now, if you happen to not already have a Rakuten account, I will have a referral link down below. And if you decide to use it, you can end up getting yourself $40 back from your first $40 purchase. So this can end up pretty much being a free $40 item if you end up using my referral link. And if you decide to use it, it will help out the channel and I'd be very thankful for your support. So now they understand that there are different American Express cards, great ways to earn and awesome ways to redeem their points. Now you're probably interested in going out and getting yourself an American Express credit card. 
But before you end up doing that, just know that there are rules that you need to follow. The first rule is gonna be the one in five rule, which means that you can only get yourself one American Express card over the course of five days. So if you happen to go get yourself an American Express card on a Tuesday, you can't apply for an American Express card on a Friday and expect to get approved. You're gonna get denied for that card. And then the second rule is gonna end up being the two in 90 rule, which ends up being that you can only get accepted for two American Express cards over the course of 90 days. So that means that if you happen to get approved for one in January, do not expect to get one in March. You have to wait all the way till April to end up getting approved for another one. Another rule ends up being how many American Express credit cards you can end up having. Now the max I've seen is five American Express credit cards. However, for some people, they can only end up getting four American Express credit cards. Now I do not know why some people can have five and some people can have four, but just know the max amount you can end up getting with credit cards ends up being only five credit cards. So that means that you actually need to be strategic on which American Express credit cards to actually get because if you want to get yourself more, you're gonna have to cancel some of the cards to end up applying for other ones to add into your credit card rotation. However, this rule is different for their charge cards. So if you happen to have four or five American Express credit cards, you still can end up getting yourself the American Express Platinum, Gold, and Green card, and then also the business charge cards as well. Now, as awesome as American Express cards are, there is one thing that's a downside about American Express as compared to other credit card issuers out there, and that ends up being their sign-up bonus. They do end up having some really lucrative sign-up bonuses. However, you can only get yourself one sign-up bonus with that card in your lifetime. So if you end up getting yourself the American Express Platinum card and you end up getting the 100,000 point sign-up bonus that's connected with that card, that is the only sign-up bonus you're actually going to get with that card. So if you cancel the card and try to apply for that card four years from now, you will not be eligible for the sign-up bonus. So this is very important to know. This is the reason why people say to look for elevated offers with the sign-up bonuses for these cards because it's a once in a lifetime you're going to be getting the sign-up bonus as compared to Chase or City, where you can end up getting yourself sign-up bonuses probably every two or four years with these different cards. Cards. With American Express, you get it one time. And the last thing to know about American Express is that American Express does not play around with people who like to play games within their program. If you are doing some fishy purchasing or some manufactured spend, trying to get gift cards and different things like that with American Express, there's a possibility that American Express can end up shutting you down. Now, first, they'll probably end up clawing back the points that they don't feel are eligible that you have earned. And then later on, if they feel that you are continually doing this type of behavior, they're going to shut you down. Now, with programs like Chase, if you end up getting shut down from them, typically Chase lets you know and gives you about 30 days to actually appeal the reason you end up getting shut down and then allows you to actually use the points you end up earning with Chase. But with American Express, they completely shut down your account and then you lose all the points you end up earning. So do not play around with American Express. Be honest on your applications and use the cards according to their terms and rules. Now, I know that may seem like a simple thing to do, but there are many people in the points and miles game who like to bend the rules in their favor and American Express does not talk with them. But there you have it. That's the information you need to know before applying for an American Express card. American Express cards are honestly awesome. They have great sign-up bonuses and can allow you to rack up a lot of points and miles with their cards. And if you end up using these cards, you can end up flying around the world in luxury for a very reduced price. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you haven't been interested in any American Express cards, I will have a referral link down below. And if you use it, it helps out the channel. But if you happen to have any questions about American Express cards, drop it down in the comment section down below and I'll do the best I can to answer it. If you happen to really like this video, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.